Johnny Tapia, I worked with him, you know, so that was a blessing. That was another good fighter, man. I, I love Johnny Tapia. Yeah. Love Johnny Tapia. He's so much fire in him when he when he fought. And he gave you a good show. Good boxer. Really good boxer. Yeah, I, I always say um, I learned so much on natural skills from Johnny Tapia working with him. And when it came to setting up punches in advance, I learned so much from uh, Mike, Mike McCallum, the body snatcher. And, uh, you know, uh, one of the best times I ever had was working with Mike. Yeah. So in your opinion, do you think fighters ran from Mike? Because he did come out of that. Yeah. 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 That era with, it, with Sugar Ray Roberts. I mean, Sugar Ray Leonard and Marvin Hagler. Tommy Hearns. You yeah. know, they all, you know, uh, he was a high risk, a low benefit yeah. uh, fight. Yeah. And, and Mike was, he could go to the body. I just saw him today at the gym, you know, so... Uh, it's not always nice to see. I, I like I like Mike from what from what I was watching when I was younger, but he kept saying, it and I was like, well, why does he kept why does he keep saying that? And then my uncles and them told me he's like, usually when the guy's saying that, it's probably because fighters are going the other way. And like yeah. you said, it's high risk, low reward when when yeah. when you when you fighting a guy like that because it's a chance you can be beat. It's, it's a high probability. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Not like that get to pouncing on your head. Yeah, 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 yeah. He smoked Donald Curry. Remember that? Ooh. Yeah. Donald looked like he smoked a pound of weed, man. His eyes were all glassy. You know? man. So yeah. but that's a legend, Mike McCallum. Yeah, he was getting scraped up. Yeah, and I like the way Mike McCallum tries to give Devin Haney good boxing tips and everything, too. You know, he, he's really hands-on with Devin. He, he's trying to make sure that Devin is, is set and grounded and doing everything possible to, to get everything out the boxing game. And that's another up-and-coming young kid. You know, I've worked, I think, the last two fights with him, and... Uh, I get to see a style and excellent kid. Great, great fire. Stitch, he, he's an awesome boxer, man. I don't know uh, what they're going to do about that kid. Yeah, uh, I know. It. He's a very good boxer. Like, I, I don't see I, whoever it is that goes against it, they're going to have to go in there and just get him. You're not going to you're not gonna be able to outbox that kid. Yeah, you know, it, it's funny. Like I said, I, I got a lot of behind the scenes stuff, right? And, and he tells me when I'm taking the gloves off, is they said I couldn't take a shot. You know, and uh, he can well, take we shots. We seen that. We seen that yeah, in the last yeah, couple yeah, fights. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we seen that in the yeah, last so. couple of fights. And I don't. So okay, Stitch, talk to me about this because when he fought Linares, they made a big fuss out of, out of him getting tagged once during the course of the whole fight, and that's all everybody had. And it's like yeah. for ten rounds, he he went in there and whooped this guy's ass. Yeah, and that's all y'all got to talk about is him getting wobbled for one round. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's commentated for you, but uh, same thing with Andre Ward, you know. And uh, when he took a shot from Kovalov, same thing. He said, "Hey, now I know I could take a shot." That was the first fight. Yeah, that was going the first into, fight. Going into the second fight, his whole mind game was different because now he knows he could take his shot. Absolutely. And and uh, so you know, these are the things that I get to hear and see working with these guys. Southside, how you doing? East side, how you doing? West side, how you doing? North side, how you doing?